to cultivate good emotional reactions, to become a man who doesn't get upset or fly off the handle, but who stays calm and relaxed, collected. So yesterday I had a moment that I, I, I didn't. Um, at work, I have two things that, at work that kind of uh, keep me on edge. One is propriety. It's very important to me that, I mean, I'm the kind of person that needs like a, a time clock, even though I don't have one at work. Ka-chunk, ka-chunk. And then when I ka-chunk in, I work like hell. And then when I ka-chunk out, I'm done. I was late yesterday because, but I mean, I, I work overtime every day. You know, I don't, I don't you know, charge or charge for an extra hour. So, I mean, you know, the, the company, the place where I work has the flexible thing. I mean, like if I work an extra hour one night, I can kind of make up for it the next day. It's on the honor system kind of. Um, but um, I don't like doing that because then it gives the appearance. So it's, it's all about propriety. It gives the appearance like I'm showing up late to work. I start work at 7 o'clock. I rolled into work at 7.20, no, 7.10, 15 yesterday because I was late because I had a technical problem that required me to go into work. And... Um, when I got there, and then well, the second thing that I that, that I have this trouble with is authority. Even though I know that people in authority are all just human beings like you and me, I mean, I'm talking about executives and man managers. I I have a sense of deference to them, by, to their office at least, um, and I, I treat them very respectfully. And I, uh, not to say I don't like them. I mean, I still treat them with courtesy. But if I don't like them. I just avoid them. <laughs> but I'm very lucky that I like all the executives and managers that I work with. So I don't have that problem. But I do But I do treat them with great, res great and grave respect, so to speak. So yesterday I rolled in at about uh, 7.10. I mean, no, no, no. I was starting work at 7.30. I, rolled, I remember the timing. I started work at 7.30, not 7. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was six minutes late. I rolled into the office at 7.36. Sin of all sins, six, six minutes late. And I ran into uh, uh, one of our executives who was just there as well. And so the twin thing nailed me, right? One, the deference for authority. Uh, and then two, the fact that, you know, I was... <laughs> late, even though I don't think that that person would have considered it that, that to be the case, or heaven, they were walking at the same time, but they're held to a higher standard, a different standard, right? I guess it's a higher standard. Anyway, so I was all flustered. I was like, you know, like a babbling, blah, 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 you know, not my usual composed, you know, it's, it's a strong effort that I make to be composed, you know, because we're talking about that fourth principle right now, which is good emotional reactions, <laughs> keeping my composure um, through life, not flying off the handle. It's not easy, and it's not natural. Excuse me. It's, it's an effort, and it's a fine effort, because it doesn't come natural to me. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's an effort of maturity to do, but I, didn't, I wasn't that. I was kind of stumbling all over myself. So that was a that was an interesting thing, but it's pretty rare that that happens anymore. I'm pretty staid and steady these days. And I think I can thank this effort, this good life creed, this good life effort, this meditation video for doing this. Looking at myself in the camera, you know, I can see myself right here. It may sound self-centered to be talking to yourself in the camera for a half hour every day. But it does something. I can see my composure. I can see how I, I am holding my frame. I can see how my, the level of my eyes. All that stuff. And it helps me to train. It's like, I guess it would be like a, a ballet dancer doing a dance, dance in her or his mirrored wall, right? Looking at the forms, you know, the pirouette and all that stuff. For me, it's looking at my gaze, looking at the way I'm holding myself gauging the, the measure of my speaking. It's a worthwhile endeavor, for sure, to, uh, to gain that self-control through daily practice.